Police Commissioner Edward Caban was sworn in this week as the city's 46th police commissioner, and he made history becoming the first Hispanic to lead the NYPD. And today he spoke with CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer about the challenges running the largest police department on the planet. She joins us now here in studio with more of what she found out today. Marsha. Well, Christine and Dick, Edward Caban promises to be a top cop like any, unlike any of his predecessors. He's humble. He started out as a beat cop in the Bronx, and when it came time to set up an interview with me, he called me himself. Actually, I didn't believe it was him. I thought it was his press people playing a joke. He said it pre would prove it to me when we met if I called his cell phone. So I did. <laughs> I want to give you a call. Okay, call me a cynical reporter, but I didn't believe that the city's new police commissioner called me himself to set up an interview. Oh my God, that's actually my number. You actually called me? Yes, absolutely. Meet Edward Caban. He calls himself Eddie, who is determined to put his personal stamp on a department he has served for over three decades. He is unassuming, telling me he's just an average New Yorker, even if he does have a special badge with five stars that has been passed down from commissioner to commissioner. My first day started 32 years ago when I first became a cop because I think whether you're the police commissioner or whether you're a cop on the street, it's the same mission. You want to help people. You want to reduce crime. You want to make people feel better, feel safe. That's always been my mission. He freely admits it's now a mission with challenges, recruiting cops, convincing New Yorkers they're safe, that most crime numbers are down even though random acts of violence persist. I think our biggest challenge is perception versus reality. How do you convince people that, that their perception is wrong, that we are safe? I'm going to go out there every day, Marsha. The people are going to see me out in the streets. I'm going to walk with our cops. I'm going to walk into the neighborhoods, walk into the stores, walk into the subways. I'm going to walk with them and assure them that New York City is the safest big city in America. How do you deal with that perception that people think that police are just going to shoot you? Well, there are very little times in our agency we actually use our weapons. And no officer wakes up with that instinct that they want to go out there and harm any New Yorker. So right now, we have lowest levels of force amongst police and amongst citizens. Have you ever fired your gun? Thank God I haven't, Marshal. Caban succeeded Police Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell, who resigned reportedly because she was irked by micromanaging from City Hall. Are you worried about the possibility of micromanaging from City Hall? The mayor has his job to do, and I have mine. I think the mayor understands that I have my own independent voice, and I continue to have my own independent voice. Caban talks a lot about his dad, a transit detective who served with Eric Adams. I asked him if his dad gave him any advice when he got the top job. He told me, don't ever change. Stay as you are, son. It's very, very important to him that as the police commissioner, I'll never, never change it for every single New Yorker to know that I am one of them. Well, Caban is a diehard Yankee fan. He likes to spend his time off if that ever happens with his wife and two kids. Now, he told me when Mayor Adams called to offer him the job, his first, God, his first words were, thank God. And now that I have his cell phone number, well, well, actually, I'm more worried than he now has mine. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Everybody has you on speed dial. Come on. I mean, you know, the big yeah, shots want to get right to But I don't right? think I really want to have him call and say I didn't like that story. Well, that's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he is a New Yorker, as we can hear. He right? is, and I think New, New Yorkers are going to like it. Mm. Yes. All right. Well, let's just hope he keeps that positive attitude in a month from now. You know, in the month, two months, six months, as the challenges, yep. you know, ahead. It's a hot summer. Yeah. Yep. Thank Thanks. you, Marsha. Thanks, Marsha. Great job.